Hi everyone, welcome back to EV channel. Today we are going to discuss about the electric vehicle safety tips to be followed in summer season as well as the rainy season. Let's try to discuss each individual. So in parallel to this, also we'll discuss some basic safety rules what you have to do. Actually, electric vehicle should be planned to a route within the charging strategy. For example, you will have some multiple apps on the Play Store. By using these apps, we can identify what are the charging stations available. For example, you are making a journey from one X location to Y location. You can identify the number of charging station in your location from X to Y. And you have to monitor your battery level, what is the amount of state of charge. And with the available amount of state of charge, how many kilometers you can travel. So know your car's range and capability. What is the maximum speed it can be driven and how much maximum mileage it can offer. So almost all we have to use regenerative braking as more. Okay. So actually when the vehicle is propelling and you apply the brake, the vehicle gets charged. So these are some basic tips for electric vehicle. Now let's try to discuss the basic safety tips. What we need to follow by using a two-wheeler or by using a four-wheeler. Okay. Let's try to discuss each individual tip. Okay. So first one is nothing but uh, don't park your EV in sun for a long time. Okay. So you should don't park your electric vehicle in the sun. Okay. So it is recommended you don't park the electric vehicle in the sun for a longer time. So if you park it for a longer time, what happens is uh, so the vehicle gets heat up and the battery pack also gets heat up, there is a chance of explosion. That's why the first point you have to do and the safety tip you have to follow is don't park your EV in the sunlight, park only in the shadows. Okay. So coming to the second safety tip is battery should be charged. So you have to charge your, so battery should be charged, battery should be charged, I mean it should be charged only after leaving the vehicle in rest mode okay i mean indirectly we can say that battery should not be charged immediately after traveling the long distance okay so what is the meaning behind this uh, sentence okay so we have been traveled a longer distance and the vehicle is already run for around some uh, 200 300 kilometers the vehicle is completely heat including the battery so when the vehicle is in higher amount of heat, you should not keep the vehicle charging. So immediately after coming to home, you should not charge your battery. You leave it ideal for one hour or two hours later, you charge your battery. So there's a second recommended tip. So EV battery should be charged only after a time break of one hour or two hours after making a long journey or you can say that your EV should not be charged immediately when you travel for longer distance. So third important tip to safeguard your electric vehicle is uh, so don't leave your battery on charging. So it's nothing but uh, prevent uh, overcharging of battery. Okay. So prevent overcharging of battery. So you should not keep the charger all the time connected to the vehicle. Okay. And this charger should be turned off. Uh, after full charge so if the vehicle is fully charged you should turn off it so in order to perform it we have different types of uh, timer based charges so you can buy one timer so this timer will turn off after one hour two hours as a manually given command use an timer based type of techniques to turn off the charging where you can prevent overcharging of an battery and Remove the charging after the battery is full. Next one is, uh, you when you are using charging your electric vehicle, you should provide uh, earthing. Okay, so you have to provide a proper earthing to charger or to your home. So if you have a proper earthing, uh, and you can see here, you have a uh, charger. So it may be consisting of a base neutral and you have an earth connected to this metallic charger and this has to be connected to the ground 
and here we are going to get a positive terminal and negative terminal by using an AC 0014 we are convert, connecting to the electric vehicle. So this charger has to be provided, is to be connected to an ground. So at this ground here you have to maintain some required amount of moisture as well as regularly you fill with some sand, soil as well as salt and try to keep it where you have more moisture. So if you properly maintain it automatically the charger can also work properly without any leakage current. Okay? And inbuilt nowadays are, charges are coming with uh, uh, RCCB where they can arrest this uh, leakage current. So residual current circuit breaker already all the charges are coming with uh, residual current circuit breaker they can arrest this leakage current uh, and there is no chance of receiving an electric shock whenever our electric vehicle is in charge. So third point, fourth point is your home should have a proper earthing connected to the charger and this RCCB is already there in your charger and this prevents the receiving an electrical shock when the vehicle is charging and you should have a proper earthing. And fourth one is EV should be parked in when ventilated area. So you have to park your electric vehicle in a well ventilated area. So, so don't park, park it in some storeroom store where it is clumsy uh, or it is enclosed. So you should, should be parked park only in well ventilated area and, and in this ventilated area only you have to keep charging. Okay. So, so why because while charging it produces a lot amount of heat. Yeah. If there is no ventilation automatically there is a chance of a thermal runaway. So thermal runaway will make the electric vehicle to burn. Okay. So that's why we should keep proper ventilation how to provide to charge your electric vehicle. Okay. So second six thirty what you have to use is here. So all your electric vehicle at the bottom of the battery you have an MCB and you have to put this MCB in off condition when you are not using the vehicle for a long of time. So this will also will protect your electric vehicle. Okay. So uh, and next one is uh, regularly go to service center, customer care to check the health of the battery. So within the given for example every electric vehicle has the warranty period so generally if you take a two wheeler so they come with 50,000 kilometers or 8 years warranty so this is the warranty period given by the electric vehicle manufacturer so if you travel 10,000 you can go for first service if you complete second you can go I mean remaining 10,000 you can go for second service and you can go for after 30, 30,000 kilometers, after 40,000 and 50,000. So for every 10,000 kilometers you can go for service eh? and you can check the quality of the battery and if any physical damage is there to the battery or you can identify the health of the battery by using some battery tester techniques and by using some uh, battery balancing uh, meters or voltage balancing meters. Eh? So this is how regularly you have to go to the service center. If you follow, follow all these uh, 7 tips, 100% eh, your electric vehicle will not explode okay so first one is don't park your EV in sunlight park in a shadow area okay and so battery should should be charged battery should not be charged immediately after traveling and long distance if you travel for long distance don't charge it immediately charge it after the interval of one hour or two hour so third point is don't leave your battery in an overcharge, I mean, don't overcharge your battery. If the charging is completed, turn off the charger. Okay, so nowadays you can have a small timer. So, by using this timer, you can uh, cut off the charger automatically. It's nothing but how you are preventing overcharging of battery. And you have to have a proper earthing to the home as well as to the charger. Already, already told. All the charges comes with RCCB circuit breaker as well as leakage current where it can pro protect your electric vehicle. And you should keep well ventilated area. So while you are keeping the charging, 
So don't keep the electric vehicle in a storeroom or somewhere else where there is no ventilation. You have to keep the electric vehicle in a well ventilated area. It has to be charged. At the back of the electric vehicle, you have an MCB. So an MCB will be provided. And actually, this will be non condition. You have to throw this MCB into off condition when you are not using the electric vehicle for a longer time. Seventh one is regularly take the electric vehicle to the charging station to monitor the health of the battery. So this electric vehicle comes with a warranty of 50,000 kilometers or 8 years. Okay, so how to understand this warranty is it's very, very simple and not much. So for example, uh, let us take intermediately we are in second year. Okay, we are running electric vehicle. So two years has been not completed. So warranty is claimed. The next one is uh, in two years already you have been Traveled 50,000. So now which is first? So 50,000 comes first. So already you have been traveled in two years. 50,000. The warranty is void. Okay. So either kilometers will come into consideration or number of years. Whatever comes first, that will be considered. Here, which has came first? 50,000 kilometers has already traveled. That automatically warranty becomes zero. Or second one is you are running with 7.5 years. Okay. You are running with uh, 8 years and already you are running in 8 years, you travelled only 10,000. So which is coming first? Yes, is coming first. In 8 years, you travelled only 10,000. So very, you had done very, very, uh, using the electric vehicle, very less. Uh, in 8 years, you travelled only 10,000 and automatically the, wire, the warrant also doesn't come. Why? Because 8 years has already completed. So whatever comes into picture, that warrant will be taken into consideration. And coming to the safety of an electric vehicle. So plan your journey and charging strategy. Okay. So you have to plan your journey. So where you have different charging station, if charging is completed, where to charge. So identify the charging station available in the location when you are traveling from a position X to position Y. So you have some different apps to help you where the charging location is available. And we monitor the health of the battery, how the temperature rises there. And everything will be shown in your uh, digital meter. We can you have to monitor the health. Okay. And next, keep your. So try to understand. Don't try to run with your uh, sports mode or some sort of hyper mode. Generally, it's recommended to buy, run the vehicle in eco mode, which will help you to do more mileage and life of the vehicle also. And while you're running, you try to use regenerative braking mode. When you use regenerative braking mode, the vehicle can charge of its own which is like an, a good feature. Next one. So this be basic for all the vehicles. Wear your seat belt properly. Check your electric vehicle tire pressure regularly. Maintain an speed and pay attention on the road. Within the given road safety rules, maintain that speed and avoid prolonged exposure to high temperature. For example, if you're trying to do the journey in a hot summer at mid 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., so it's not recommended. Okay. So don't try to travel in the days of all times. So just avoid this sort of uh, why because already road is having high amount of heat. Tires also will increase the heat. Engine by everything is overheated. So automatically the chance of explosion to take care of. Okay. Next one, adjust your driving habits. Just be focused. Don't attempt any phone call. Just focus on your driving. Okay. Ensure regular vehicle maintenance for every uh, ten thousand kilometers. Take to the nearby customer care and maintain. Okay, if you follow these six tips, then automatically you can protect your electric vehicle or you can safeguard your electric vehicle in the summer as well as the rainy season. Hope you are able to understand what are the safety tips of an electric vehicle. So, thank you for watching. So, we are also have one more session on safety to two. So, if you feel the video is useful, please like, share, and if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section and please help us in subscribing our channel and please share with your friends if the content is useful. So please try to promote this sort of channel which will help us to do more videos. Thanking you viewers from. So we will meet in the next video. So what are the electrical safety tip rules? So we have multiple safety tip rules. We will meet. Thank you.